Welcome to Bell Brothers Brewing. Engineers. Talking about beers. I'm Curtis. I'm Cody. And today we're doing the Kickstarter thank you video. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to believe that we're putting a little more effort into this video than just saying thank you. Thank you very, very much. Excellent. Goodbye. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're gonna do some questions, some answers, talk about some beer, and then give thanks to each one of our fantastic donors who provided some more money for Kickstarter. Honestly, every dollar has made a huge difference in our capability and what we've been able to do as far as putting Bell Brothers on the map. So with that, I think it's great to start with. Question number one, what is the best beer style? Depends is, on the beer. Yeah. And depends on my mood that day. Depends <laughs> on the weather. Uh, depends right. on if I'm eating or not. I, I think it's an unfair question and anybody, like ultimately the best style is the style that matches the mood, the weather, the culture of that moment. Right. So, so I think the answer to this question is objection. <laughs> Unfair question. Removed. <laughs> Stricken from the record. <laughs> Overruled. Name another plant that is a close relative to the hop. Marijuana. Marijuana. Marijuana is bad. What is the best beer you've ever had? Ooh. Ooh. Mm. There's so many good ones over the entire time. One of the ones that first jumps to my mind is Fred over at Smiling Toad. He did the first roasted coconut, like that toasted, oh, yeah, coconut, that toasted brown. coconut brown. That was it really was good. so good. You could tell he had spent so much time roasting, like hand roasting the coconuts. He took that and brewed this phenomenal brown beer. And, and I don't know if it happened, I, mean, I know later on he moved to extract and it wasn't real, but that first batch was mm -hmm. from the heart. Yeah, that one and was good. It, it was just so good. That's that's the first one that comes to my mind. For, for sours, I would say Duchess is probably the best sour I've had. Um, for best beer that like just something that stands out as like an experience that I had that first time was the uh, World Peace Death Rate oh. from Bristol Brewing. What is Rhein Heistgebot? Rhein Heistgebot. It's German. Next question, please. <laughs> <laughs> Cody is sassy tonight. Um, Rhein Heistgebot is a um, law that was put in place in the 1500s to declare that it was a German purity law for beer, not for people, <laughs> saying that beer could only consist of water, malt, hops, and yeast. Well, they added yeast later because they didn't actually know the yeast was in beer at that point. They were just like, magic goo that goes in the beer. So that was that those were the only ingredients that could be in beer. No fruit, no spice, no nothing else. Water, malt, hops, yeast. Uh, and they still stick to it to this day. If you go to Germany and ask for a beer, you will get a beer that has no fruit, no spices, no nothing else, just the basic four ingredients. All right, so for our junior engineers, I'd like to thank Andrew Ortega. Thank you very much for donating to our Kickstarter. Our intermediate engineers, Julia Zass, Josh Teague, Justin Chandler, Sharon Tracer, Aaron, Denise Pinter, Erica Castor and Matt Hartle. Thank you so much for donating to our Kickstarter and allowing our dream to come true. And we look forward to seeing you at the brewery to have a pint with us. You know it. Next question. <laughs> All right. I forgot to do it with this side. I reached off camera ooh, with this side. Ooh, ooh, I was like, ooh, next ooh. question. And then I saw my hand shoot out of room. I was like, damn it. God, I can't use my right arm for anything. All right. Is cereal soup? Yes. Nope. You're wrong. No, because cold soup is technically called a gazpacho. Gazpacho, which is soup. No. <laughs> What's the weirdest thing you've ever smelled? Oh, my immediate thought process is back to that pineapple hemp beer where yeah. it cracked and the whole kitchen smelled like weed, <laughs> but funky pineapple. Weed. <laughs> yeah. One sentence to sum up the internet. It's for porn. Internet is for porn. The internet is for porn. <laughs> so grab your dick and double click for more and more. What's the weirdest thing you've ever eaten? I eat all sorts of weird things. Recently it was oysters. <laughs> like raw oysters. That was pretty not okay. Weird. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not a huge fan. Called them tofu stroganoff. <laughs> <laughs> We'd like to thank our senior engineers. Andrew Barron. Rihanna Syke. Jennifer Lesage. 
Jane, Elizabeth Miller, Diana, Judith Richard. Thank you very much, senior engineers. Uh, all the time, effort, the money you put into it. Fruits or vegetables? Fruit. Most vegetables are fruit, so I'll go with fruit. <laughs> Beard or mustache? Beard. Uh, neither. Permission or forgiveness? Permission. Forgiveness. <laughs> Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Sweet or sour? Sour. Sweet. <laughs> Last one. Ale or lager? Both. Both, yeah. That, that goes back to the best beer thing, right? All depends on the day, season, the taste. All right, group three. Lead engineers. Zach Haddock, Thomas Jessup, Heidi Wright, Margot Kleitz, Randall, Jonathan Joyce, Kevin and Barbara Gibbons, Chris Manich, and Brittany. Thank you very much for your contributions. Like we say, everything counts. Oh, yes. We really, really do appreciate it. And we look forward to seeing you all soon. You too took the lead on helping us out. <laughs> Beer trivia. Which of these is not a hop? Millennium Tomahawk Pilgrim Victory. Pilgrim, Pilgrim. Oh, victory. Huh? Oh, victory's a malt. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> got him! Hey, I got him! <laughs> non alcoholic beers typically contain as much alcohol as what fruit? Banana, pear, pineapple, kiwi. Banana. I'm, I want to go pineapple just for. Something else. Cody, oh, you win again. <laughs> Banana. Which beer brand changed its recipe to better replicate how it tastes in its home country? Guinness, Asahi, Newcastle, Stella Artois. Man, that's Guinness. Hard. Yeah, I was I was thinking Newcastle. Both wrong. It was Asahi. Asahi. No. To be classified as a craft brewer in the U.S., a brewery must be less than 15% owned by a large brewery. Have an annual production of six million barrels or less, list all ingredients on the bottle, or brew using traditional methods. Less than six million barrels. Oh yeah, I was gonna go with 15% ownership by a big company. Cody's just gonna kick your ass yeah. all night. Six million barrels! <laughs> Alright, so oh, well, it's, it's, le it's gotta be less than six million. Okay. I, for some reason my head like turned that into must brew six million barrels, and I was like, there are so many other breweries that do less, way, way less than six million. Yeah. Which of these has not been used as a flavor in a commercial beer? Pizza, coconut curry, sour cream and onion chips, lobster bisque. Uh, lobster I would hope, bisque. I would hope none, but I'm gonna hope pizza doesn't exist. I know it has, but let's sour say. Sour cream and onion chips. Huh. Sour it seems like one really? of them would be easier to do than lobster bisque. Yeah, I, I, would think, I would think sour cream and onion, you could almost hide in some form or another. Well, I'm just worried about putting meat or meat-like flavors in <laughs> beer, because you, you want meaty beer? Just... Which nation is the biggest consumer of Guinness? Ireland, the UK, Nigeria, Cameroon. Mm. I'm gonna go Nigeria, why not? Cameroon. The UK. The UK, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's close That by. was the expected answer, so I went left. Yeah, right, <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I was hoping for something weird. Which country is the largest consumer of beer per capita? Poland, Germany, Ireland, Czech Republic. Poland. Well, I'm gonna say Czech Republic. Curtis, you got one! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody drank like the Czechs. <laughs> I was assuming the Poles were so depressed. <laughs> Which is the largest hop producing country in the world? China, Germany, US, Czech Republic. US. Uh, well, per, so per size, the Germany produces more, but the US produces by mere, pure quantity. Okay, fair. I should have said per capita, but I'll give you points because yes. We'd like to thank our principal engineers, Dan Bogdenheimer, Andrew Blumenberg, Sharon LeBron Frank, and our distinguished engineers, Steve Brenner, Brent Baldwin, Jill Furman, Courtney, and Thomas Wright. Our principal and distinguished engineers, thank you so much for coming in and doing what you have for us. And you personally have helped out significantly, just like everybody else on this list. It's another dollar, another brick, and more tables for us. <laughs> another few inches of stainless steel. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> These are our subject matter experts. The ones we all go to to answer all the questions. <laughs> when you're really screwed, you go to the SMEs. Thank you very much to Ray, Robin, Craig, Noel Swinger, Ed Barron, Larry and Malin, and Dewey Tran, my brother from another mother. <laughs>
Can't wait to find out what that last group is going to name their fermenters. Uh, get your names in. It's not going to be too much longer now until I need to be using those fermenters. I want names on them before I'm using them. <laughs> <laughs> Dewey's already put forward a couple of uh, quite. Uh, I'm guessing potentials. it is something like Fermenti McFermenter face. <laughs> what? No, no. His, his first, right off the top, was these nuts. <laughs> <laughs> For nuts browns only. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was thinking it would make it really interesting for like our Instagram or Facebook. We'd be like, hey, Facebook status or new update. Cody's moving the. The what would it be Leo into Leo D's nuts. out of D's nuts or into D's nuts? <laughs> Got stored in D's nuts. Ah <laughs> oh, man! All right, engineers and still men. <laughs> I would like to point out that Ed Baron is also asked for a Braxton logo, uh, and we're going to have a big vinyl sticker on the side of one of our fermenters. Uh, that's going to be representing a legacy technology company. So fantastic. Really looking forward to having that out there. Uh, we're in the mix of trying to get all of these Kickstarter rewards uh, digitally designed. Give us an update on where you guys are on the actual brewery. Like what's going on there? Give us a, a fun line. No comment. Next question. <laughs> As of Tuesday, we were finishing framing downstairs and upstairs. Uh, they were cutting a hole. They had a big hole in the wall or in the floor for the stairwell. So they're trying to figure out the stairwell there. They already have our removable flooring. Cool. So that's gonna be really cool. And the bathrooms are getting figured out. So the removable flooring on the tap room level of the building is there because brew house equipment is big and it cannot go down the stairs. So we had to cut a hole in the floor to be able to move all of our tanks and brewery equipment down into the basement. And we're gonna to have to get uh, some ropes and pulleys and all that. And we're gonna lift everything up, drop it down and then put it in place in the basement. We're talking maybe in that new year's timeline. Uh, to be able to throw our early opening or the big grand opening. Curtis, is it really just over the next ridge? It is always just over the next ridge. <laughs> Dirty liar. <laughs> uh, that comes from when well, we're going hiking and uh, the hikers, the group, guys always ask dumb questions. Like Nobody asks how much you anymore. You're just walking that? along and like, it's just over the next ridge, guys. Like Nobody, nobody asked. <laughs> It, we it, know where it is. It comes, it comes from when we started hiking all of this, and those guys would ask. They'd be like, "How much further? Are we there yet? Where are we going?" How much? And it would be like, "It's just over the next ridge." And it didn't matter how far away we were, because it didn't. The, the answer is, you get there when you get there. Last question, Cody. Did you intentionally throw the tofu stroganoff on the floor to get out of eating it? Yes, because he did too. I did no such thing. I got bamboozled. <laughs> Curtis threw his on the floor. I threw mine on the floor and I had to eat more. <laughs> I dropped mine by accident. Mm -hmm. I was there. I saw it. it was, oh no. <laughs> As he spiked his tofu stroganoff onto the floor. Well, hopefully you get a kick out of this. I know that this has meant a lot and it has been a grueling five, six years worth of us trying to find this place. Every supporter matters. Uh, whether you started just now, five minutes ago, six, seven, eight, ten years ago, <laughs> you count and we really, really do appreciate it. And we're looking forward to sharing a beer with you in the brewery that you helped fund, the beer that you helped make. Come down and have a beer with us. Heck yeah. Thank you for visiting us here at Bell Brothers Brewing. This has been Engineers, talking about supporters. Cheers. Cheers.